Because I don't think it'd be anywhere in Cranvale. Hmm. Going the wrong way. And I don't think I can use it to cross the water, although that would be kind of interesting. Nah. Darn, darn, darn. Oh, wait, no, someone needed me to get a package for him, didn't they? Are you the guy? I forgot about that, actually. What guy? The guy with the box or something. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, I get it. Yeah, sure, I'm the guy. Mr. Abizado roped you into being his errand boy, didn't he? That happens sometimes. Oh, here you go. It's just what that weirdo ordered. Received a strange package. You added to your trinkets. It was a pain sneaking that thing through customs, so don't go dropping it now, you hear? I mean, I just want to see what it says. I don't want to open it. You take a peek. There's a fat, wiggling white worm inside. I mean, he's not going to know I took a peek. I didn't, like, intentionally do it. Yeah, I completely forgot about that side quest. I think that's the only other one I, I, I needed to do, I think. Oh-ho, you brought it. But tell me, did you peek? Nope. Ah, so dependable. An admirable trait in an, in an apprentice. You have successfully completed the first task. Here's your paycheck, as promised. I mean, five seeds, yeah, it seems okay. Wait, first task? How many are there? I've got more important things to do, you know. Trivial worries. On to the second task. There's a weaver in Gutter End who ordered the same package. A blonde mouse named Connor. Deliver to him and procure his payment. Weaver in Gutter End. That's easy enough. Hmm, okay, well now I'm kind of curious about what happens if I told him that I peaked or not. I mean, probably doesn't really matter. I might keep that save anyway, just in case. Like, just in case I can check. Which I might, or I may not. We'll have to see. I think I'm supposed to give you this? Oh, yeah, I ordered this straight from Abuzado. Abuzado. That mad merchant can get his paws on anything. Red tape be damned. What exactly is in the box? You're better off not knowing. Anyway, thanks a lot for the delivery. Uh, the payment? There's the small matter of the payment. Oh, haha, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I owe Abizado quite a few seeds for this, but I haven't got much on hand. I could offer him some of my best silk instead. Do you think that'll cover the cost? Um, I mean, no idea, really. How should I know? Linen, rags, silk. It's all just cloth to me. Whatever. I'll pass it on and see what he says. You received a silk square. You added it to your trinkets. Thanks for the, for the delivery. Safe travels, friend. Hmm. Okay, so if he's like... if Okay, so if it's a wiggling white worm, it has to be like a silk worm, right? So I always used to think that silkworms were, well, silk was made by like, cause yeah, you, know, you have the silkworm, right? So I always thought like it, 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 like it, it like kind of like a spider that it would like shoot a thread out or something and then you'd collect the thread and then turn that into silk. Uh, it turns out, no, you take the cocoon, uh, usually with the silkworm still inside and then you like boil it and then like turn it into silk in, in some way, really weird. Really weird and kind of gross, <laughs> you know, when you really think about it. Oh, ho, you did it. I did, and I got a reward. A sheet of fine silk. That was not the agreed upon payment. But whom's am I to deny such a fine luxury? Here's your paycheck, as promised. You received five seeds. Ready for task three. As if I have a choice. There's a lady by the name of Matilda who lives in the Duchy of Sky Garden. She has an eye for fine fabric. Politely ask her to dye the silk a nice shade. Crimson, perhaps? Okay, what kind of creature is she? Why she's a... You know, I have absolutely no idea. Fine, Matilda of Sky Garden, right? That's quite some way away, so give me some time. I'll be waiting. I'm intrigued. I mean, I'm getting a lot of seeds, which is nice. Wonderfully soft to the touch. 
Uh, if I had to go talk to Connor again, he's probably just going to be like, yo, uh, needle and thread and Leo and stuff. And I don't got time for that. Bye. Okay, so we're going to Sky Garden now. I am curious what Sky Garden is going to look like. Like, for some reason in my head, just because of the name, it's not going to be this. But I, I, I've been thinking, like, oh, kind of like that one place in Bioshock Infinite. I don't know what it's called. I never actually played Bioshock Infinite. I need to, and I should, and I will, eventually. Soon, TM. Soon, TM. All right, onwards to Sky Garden. Ooh, oh, that's pretty. Hey, it's Bruce. This is Sky Garden. This is my home. What's wrong? Sky Garden's supposed to be t Sky Garden's supposed to be a rainbow. A tree overflowing with flowers of every hue and shade all year round. This didn't look anything like the stories my dad told me. Yeah. Never heard that flower stuff before. Sky Garden's a fortress. A military stronghold. No rainbows here. <coughs> I see. Hey, no need to get down. Let's run over details of, you know, Plan S. Right, the plan. Okay, so we're booked for performance with Squirrel Duke at noon. Bruce, you and I will walk in... And play? And play their socks off. Exactly. Then, while Duke's court is distracted, I'll scale the outer wall, climb through an upper floor window, find the treasure room, break open some chests, and steal the pebble of skewin. You know, it seems like I've got the harder task here. Can you manage it, Pocket? Are you kidding? I could do it blindfolded. Bruce and I will leave before Duke notices anything is missing. And we'll all be in the clear. Pebble and paw. Hee <laughs> hee. This'll be a riot. Oh, uh, one more thing, Bruce. Really sorry to say this, Lapa, but you should tuck. To tuck Your tail. The hamster's got a point. It's a dead giveaway of your, uh, true colors. Ah, I see. I suppose it is, ain't it? But my dad always told me to be proud of my tail. You have beautiful tail, Lapa. But if gray squirrels sniff you out as a red, I heads will roll. Yeah, sorry, Lapa. Nay bother. I'll hide it, just for today, to survive. We're all set, then. I'll see you both out here in a little while. And I'll go tune my, oh boy, my balalaika. Meet you in the throne room. I can do this. His tail is indeed quite tucked. He looks weird with it tucked in, though. Don't know how we managed to do that, but sure, why not? Sky Garden. The city of opportunity. Hey, it's Josh. It's a solid gold statue of Duke Josh. It exudes an unprecedented level of arrogance. Duke Josh glimmers. Save your game, I shall. I will save, I don't know which one, I think it was this one, it was the Royal Palace, so I'll save over this one. Your game has been saved. Welcome to Sky Garden. Get out while you still can. This door goes to the dungeon, but it ain't visiting time, bud. The troopers with colorful swords are the Duke's dozen. Keep your head down. Don't make eye contact with them. That's my advice. Ooh, a weapon shop. Man, making armor is my passion. But all day, every day, all I do is make and fix weaponry for the Duke's army. It feels a bit, I don't know, wrong, you know? I don't know, maybe you should quit. I mean, if, it's, if it feels wrong, you should quit. If it bothers you, just quit. Ah, I wish it were that simple. I got bills to pay and mouths to feed. 
Oh yeah, did you want to buy something? Hey, maybe. Maybe. What you got? I have some freshly forged plate armor in your size. Oh? Just the basic curious with steel pauldrons and fold. You understand. Spoilers are built in, sabatons and vambraces not included. Oh, I... Those are words. Ah, sorry. I got carried away. I'll make it simple. 20 seeds for the high quality armor. Yeah, I'll take it. All right, go on then. You received a set of plate armor. Put that on and you'll be ready to take on the world. Come to think of it, why did I buy this? I've already got an outfit for the performance. No refunds. All sales are final. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, you can't change it, that's right. I guess I just bought it for the other crew later. It's an enormous set of plate armor. If you wore this, you wouldn't even be able to walk. These shields have been painted with coat of ar coats of arms, emblems of noble families. I do like how over here you can kind of see Bruce's shadow poking out just a little bit. On like the slightly lowerish right, like of the pot. Okay, so I can't go in here. Hey, what are you? You're like a flying squirrel, I think. Are your friends with the little guy with the big guitar? He went upstairs. Y'all be careful now. The Duke doesn't mess around. Those two creeps always give us weird comments. But it's not like we can just say anything, you know? Every morning we line up, pledge allegiance to the wayward star. Do y'all have that in Merida? I mean, sure, the Colonel is tough, but the Blade Master is on another level. A stout and heavy armor? That combo just has no weakness. Colonel Hank wields an actual god cannon, just like the ones in Westlands. He let me hold it once. I've never felt more powerful. Okay, what's in here? Oh, hello. Oh, I see. You see crude drawings of a snake-like creature. There's also a strange note. Roy? Oh, okay, wait. Right, right, star. Right, down, question mark, star. Right, down, left, up, question mark, star. Oh, what does that mean? Oh, that has to mean something. I'm hunting a cryptid. A supposed wizard lizard of the gloaming woods. Let me know if you find him. Careful, though. They might be dangerous. Hold on, I'm gonna need to take a picture of this. Just, uh, in case I needs it for later. Because you never know, with a game like this, it might actually be handy. That'll do. Oops. Oh my god. I can, uh, I can just fell. I had a can on my desk. A can of, uh, Dr. Pepper, I believe. Yeah. Fell off. I just had to pick it up. All right. So, a cryptid, huh? I'm following a bunch of trails that all go... That go all the way to the top. Check the wall of deets, but keep it all on the down low. I'm following a bunch of trails, blah, blah, blah. You see a collage of rodent faces. These are all the people who've gone missing in the last couple of months. Once the Duke throws someone in the dungeons, there ain't no coming back. Donut. You see a drawing of a donut-shaped earth. Ah, yeah. That one's more of a work in progress. <laughs> okay, buddy. You see a book titled Kristoff the Wayward by Lord Master Tobin. I will read it. It was during the reign of King John the... 150th? Or something? When Christoph of Clan Grey set sail from the Westlands, he and his squirrel fleet pursued the so-called Wayward Star, crossing the treacherous open waters all the way to Rodentian shores. The Lord of Skygarden, Rybert the Red, greeted the new squirrels with customary grace. However, tensions between the two clans quickly flared. That book is sus. Oh, is that Mr. S? Is, that, is, is he sus or something? Mr. Sus? A squirrel fleet making the great Westlands crossing on dinky rodent ships? Not a chance. If you want my theory, I reckon us Grace came here with divine help. I see. He's the aliens guy, huh? Aliens. Oh, this is cool. Oh, that's sick. 
Ah, oh, it's Bad Rat, or Red Rat. Violet the Screeching Creature, now on her world tour. I like that he's a bat, that makes so much sense. The Duke banned me from playing anything but the Grey Anthem. Oh, this is the Grey Anthem, neat. Oh, it's Violet, oh, oh cool. One last gig, then I'm flying from this rotten tree. You found an Oaken Ocarina, or Ocarina. Something tells me that you're scheming against the Duke. So go ahead and keep that. Maybe it'll come in handy. Is that a new weapon? It is. Nostalgic to the ear, true. Okay, interesting. So you can actually trade other weapons. I mean, it doesn't change. Like, it doesn't actually change the look, but that's kind of cool. Ready for the big performance? Yeah, not yet. I want to go up more. Oh, you're a god. You're the god weapon. No access to the treasury. Unless you want to take on my genius intellect. And your big gun. I want all that, though. I'm supposed to polish that lance daily, but I can't even lift the darn thing. Not gonna lie. It's gross that the Duke keeps a stowed on the payroll. I'm just looking at that long necked freak gives me the creeps. An elegant halberd. The steelwork is flawless. An enormous lance, sharpened to two points. It's a god weapon, and a fearsome one at that. A battle-worn claymore. Temperance is inscribed on the base of the blade. And a coal-headed hammer. Looks heavy. Welcome to the armory. Don't touch anything. Benjamin, huh? Psst. Check out what I found in prison contraband. A lighter. A godly fire starter. Badass, right? It's yours for 15 seeds? I don't have that. Whose is it? The owner? Man, who cares? They don't need it anymore. 15 seeds. You want it or not? I don't. Get lost then. Um... Ah, oh, man, I don't have enough. Can't afford it? I'll just find someone richer. Mmm. I mean, I want it. This might be an instance of... Oh, I can go up higher. Wait, hold on. Maybe I can get more seeds. Don't dawdle up here, or we'll get in trouble. We'll all get in trouble. I'm on the watch. Do, 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 do. He's having fun. Sir, don't touch the magic missiles. They're extremely volatile. Hmm... I mean, I guess I don't really have much of a choice. Yeah, I'm ready. Aye, let's do this. My Duke, it looks like your entertainment has arrived, lol. Uh, Evan, why? Better late than never. What am I looking at here? Pleasure to meet your acquaintance, my Duke. We are Bruce. And Anton the Great. And we are honored to serve. Wow, your accents are pretty good. Is this a comedy set? Oh, I guess the hamster is also Scottish. Um, no, that's not just our voices. No, no, that's just our voices. Shame. He's vaping. He vapes. Maduke, I got... I just have one question before we start. Where are all the flowers? Flowers? A rainbow of flowers is the signature of Sky Garden, nah? Is this really the time, Lapa? A rainbow of flowers? What century are you fellas from? That nonsense was removed when my great, great, great grandpappy took the throne way back when. That's not right. The rainbow is the eternal symbol of Sky Garden. Eternal. Psst, Bruce, keep calm. Wrong. The rainbow field was the symbol of Clan Red. Weakness and degeneracy. Snap. The symbol of clan... Ah, oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. The symbol of clan gray is the wayward star above a striped sea. It is a flawless emblem. The star stands for strength. Iron will. Oh, bye. <laughs> Alright. The seizing of destiny made manifest. For we are one house under the gods. Indomitable. 
with freedom and righteousness for all. Ah, yeah. Right ye are, my duke. But enough patriotism. Entertain me. Ready, Lapa? So, is this supposed to be like America in a way? I don't know. I'm not too sure. He's talking about a star and righteousness and freedom and stuff. And very patriotic. This seems very American. Heck yeah. Ready as ever. Let's play Red Tailor over. That always goes down well. Sounds good to me. Follow my lead. When I say left, you press left. When I say right, I press right. Excuse me again. Sorry about that. I press right. And so on for up and down. I know my notes. Okay, on my mark. This is good. Good going, Bruce. Nice. The members of the court are amazed. Even Duke Josh can't help but smile. Lol, that was great. Good job. Receive 15 seeds as a tip. Ah, yes. Psst, Anton. How do you think, how do you think Pocket's doing? I'll let him go. So this is like meanwhile. Hey! That music's pretty good. Wait a darn minute. I think I know this song. Ah! I can't remember the freaking song name. What's it called? Roaming Rodent or something? Oh, he got it. Pocket found the pebble of skewing. He adds it to his pockets. And it's called Rat Tailed Rover. Ah, that's it. Thanks, pal. Huh? Wait, what? <clears throat> Good job. E vaping. All right, all right. That's quite enough. Not my usual jam, but I gotta say, you two put on quite a show. <laughs> Hop, hop into it, literally. Um, Mr. Duke Josh, sir. Sorry to interrupt, and please don't be mad, but, uh... There's been a robbery. The treasury's been ransacked. What? Colonel Hank said the culprit was a lone jumping mouse or something like that. Oh no, we're gonna get found out, Lapa. Keep your cool, babe. We can wiggle out of this. Lol, robbed by one mouse. Classic Hank. It's true that Hank's buffoonery knows no bounds. But still, even the boldest thief wouldn't dare to rob Skygarden alone. If you want my counsel, Duke, there's something more going on here. A conspiracy, huh? You, Harlequin, show me your tale. Very flattered, my lord, but you're not my type. Don't be weird. I mean your actual tale. There ain't much to see, my Duke. It's just a tale. Do not disrespect me. Guards. Hey, get your hands off me, you flea-bitten flag worshippers. Don't touch us. Take the mask off, too. Oh. Oh. The mask. That's interesting. La 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 la. Look at his flaming tail. Yeah. Take it in, ladies and gents. We're in the company of a very special guest. A squirrel of Clan Red. Haven't had one of you fellas this far south in, what, a hundred years? Well, hey, Duke. Remember what the Kaleech told you? That thing about Railbert returning to take back his throne? Rybert returning to take back his throne. Lol. Well, well. Shut up, Lord Master. This ain't Red Rybert. It's just a pair of prancing fairies. Maduke, we're not here to take anyone's throne. Please understand. 
I I just wanted to see my home, to see my heritage. My heritage. Gods, this is beyond cringe. Guards, take him to the dungeon. Mamia, execute him at dawn. You heard the duke. Move it, you two. I'll see you two in the morning. Right around breakfast time. Ooh. I don't want to be eaten. It's okay. We can get out of this. Will we, though? Shut it and move it, you two. Okay, Larry. What's this? New prisoners, Larry. Yes, Captain Iden, sir. Convicted by the Duke on grand larceny, degeneracy, and treason charges. Such a list? My oh my. And where are you taking them? I'm escorting both of them to, uh, cell 1D. Putting two friends together in the same cell. Larry, that's a basic mistake. So sorry, Captain. So what do I do? Just remember your ABCs from your training. Oh yeah, uh, C is for, uh, cage. Oh yeah, cage and separate. Keep friends apart. You got it, man. Great job. Thank you, Captain. I must hand it to you, to you fellas. Your ethics, bleh, man. Your ethics are lacking, but your workplace professionalism is top notch. This one is lippy. Put him in need 2E. With the dragon? She's kind of psycho, Captain. Exactly. She'll teach this one a lesson. I'm scared, Lapa. Hang in there, babe. We can find a way out of this. Hey, hey, no touching. Get them out of here, Larry. And remember to confiscate their instruments. Yes, Captain Iden, sir. Ah, this one. I've seen this one in, uh, on the Steam page. This character, I mean. The mask is back. Well, well, well. A fool enters the dragon's lair. Hey, I'm no fool. And you're no dragon, are ye? I see no wings or scales. No wings, no. But even a grounded dragon has teeth and claws. I think we got off on the wrong paw, so let's start over. What are you in for? Same thing as you, like. There's no place for queer folk in the free land of Sky Garden. So they so they hate the gays in Sky Garden. I guess that makes sense since they seem pretty uh regime-ish, really. So Gwen is uh Gwen is gay then? Or do they mean or do they literally mean queer is in like weird? Cuz I don't know that I know I know queer doesn't necessarily mean like gay. I don't know. See, because this this takes place in the UK, like I said, I might not understand all uh, meanings of certain words. I, I know queer can have like a couple different meanings. I, but specifically, I hit on Blade Master Lamia. Ah, uh, hey, you talking about the Full Metal Stout? What can I say? She has a great smile. Okay, no, they did mean queer is in gay. Gotcha. I thought Lamia was a dude. I guess not. She'd eat you, given the chance. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay, it was Bruce, whatever. I thought it was Gwen talking. Gods, I wish. In any case, I thought she was one of us, but clearly I misread the situation. Because the next thing I knew, I was taking a steel gauntlet to the face. Hardest punch I've ever felt. Must be why they call her Lamia the Peerless. I. she did look pretty fierce. The name's Bruce, by the way. Uh, Gwenlian? Gwenlian? Oh my god. <sighs> okay. Uh, Gwenlian of Nuadi Duiao Gwynion. The Hall of the White Gods. But Gwen is fine. The White Gods. So. Okay, so I was kind of thinking that. So because she has the white fur and the red eyes, I kind of feel like she's a, a lab mouse. So that makes sense, then. I, I guess I'm correct. Guess I should get comfy. 
Enjoy my last meal or something? Yeah. Wanna escape? Already? Hey, I've been sitting here like a caged pet for a month, like. Your arrival is an opportunity, and I'm not wasting it. I'm breaking out today. I mean, yeah, escaping sounds g great. But you're not going anywhere chained up like that. Right you are. So getting out of these shackles is step one of my three-step master plan. The, the Cacwin? The, the Cacwin keep the key for this ball and chain nearby. If you fetch it, I promise to get you safely to the surface, tip for tap. Stealing a key from the guards, huh? I, I might be able to do that. Ah, but the story's a problem. You think so? Give it a proper shove. Hold on. It's a tiny wooden statue of a hare with butterfly wings. A plucka. Did Gwen carve this from a wooden stool? The plucka flies freely. Save your game? I will. Um, on which save, though? I guess this one. Your game has been saved. An ensuite bathroom. Very fancy. Remnants of moldy breadcrumbs. This is not Vi's gourmet cuisine. A god-made shackle. It looks nigh unbreakable. We can chat later. Try that door first. I will. Okay, let's do it. Whoa! It actually opened! Yep. The door lost rested through. The, the Cacklin in uniform just haven't noticed. On that note, those idiots will be doing regular patrols. You're unarmed, so stay out of their line of sight. Got it. I'll be as quiet as a louse. I'll just nab that key, then I'll be back here before you can say hard time. The fool has spirit, but does he have skill? Well, I'm the one in control, so no.